What's up, guys? We're going to play a little secret ponchos. I'm going to go through the characters. That's kind of what the point of this video is to kind of show you all the moves, what's going on. If you haven't heard of secret ponchos, it's on PSN. It's free right now. Pick it up if you got a PS Plus membership. Do yourself a favor. Play this game. You're going to have super fun with it, especially if you're in type of those mobile games. So let's head on in, and we're going to check out the first character, the killer. The killer. Or I like to call him Jack, because he's Jack to me. I don't know. I think Jack the Killer, maybe it's because I'm thinking Jack the Ripper. I don't know. I'm going crazy over here. So basically, he is kind of your middleman. He's got Jack of all trades. Maybe that's where I'm getting from. Jack of all trades. I don't know. <laughs> he's just Jack to me. So basically, he has two weapons. He has the revolver, and he has this throwing knife or saber or dagger. I don't know what that... And that picture looks way cooler than it does actually in the game. It's like two different weapons. <laughs> but in the game, it looks more like a knife. Uh, it's one of his more important weapons. That's fanning the hammer right there. Uh, basically, he shoots an arc out in front of him. As you'll see right here, I'll shoot it. I'll shoot this guy right here. You notice he doesn't hit with all the bullets. He hits with only a couple. The closer you are, the more bullets it'll hit with. So kind of take that to your advantage or disadvantage. If you get close enough, that's kind of like you taking that risk to get that extra damage. If you notice, this is the aiming ridicule for this game. If you see the end of it, there's an arc. If you're aiming at an object, there'll be another arc in the middle of the line. So use that as kind of like I'm actually aiming at something. You see that pop up and you're trying to aim at an enemy, shoot. Because that means you're going to hit them. Unless they dodge right at the last second. Next up, I believe, is his knife weapons. So we're going to try to show this off. Now his dagger can be pretty much thrown across the map. However, it is freaking slow. So <laughs> take that with caution. Now you can hit someone like from this distance right here. But you got to make sure you're not seen or you're coming up behind them or whatnot. Because as you notice, it's not a fast throw. It takes a while. It's a pretty neat weapon because of that right there where it stuns them. You can use that stun for your advantage, for your team's advantage. If you can go in there and get some major damage on a guy who's stunned. You also have to pick up your dagger after you throw it. Now after a while, I believe it respawns back in your inventory. But up, if you want it back right away, you got to go grab it. All you have to do is run by it or just dash by it and you'll be able to pick it up. So that's a really good weapon, a really good tool he has that um, I think a lot of people actually use very correctly right now because I, I get hit by it. And once you're stunned, you can get some major damage taken from you. So right now I'm showing off the other two moves you can do with the dagger. Um, they're a bunch of slashes. It's basically slash slash. Like he has a combo that you can do, but you need stamina. As you notice right there, I hid behind that tombstone to pick up my stamina that's probably the main way to get stamina in this game is to hide so hide you push x next to an object you kind of like lean against it or duck behind it and when you hide it does two things one your stamina regenerates a lot faster but two you also are invisible to the enemy now you're visible on screen and on the map so if you notice the edges of the screen you'll see the marks of where your guys are so each one of those is an enemy you can go track down the smaller it is the further away they are well if you hide your mark disappears on your enemy's map also you don't appear on the screen at all unless they round that corner where you're hiding at then you'll pop up visually now if you hide while someone's on screen they're going to see where you hit at so they're going to know where you're at so don't do it like that thinking you just disappear and they have no idea <laughs> they know where you hit but if you're off screen you can use it to your advantage because they don't know where you, where you really are here i'm just kind of showing a little bit how to do some combos what it looks like to shoot someone nothing super important but the bigger combo is a stun run up shoot shoot um f fan your gun up close you'll do more damage that kind of thing so it's really important to uh try to maximize different ways to do combos with these characters because what i show isn't everything right you, when you play as this character you'll pick up new nuances and things that you're going to get used to and you're going to really like doing with that character and really exploit your character's moves right that's the point of this game is to exploit them your characters have moves exploit those moves and combos and then someone will figure out a way to get around it sooner or later that goes with any of the characters in this game so as you notice i'm kind of just showing a little quick combo what you can do with them to start out with The Matador, the lady of the game. I mean, I guess Poncho could be a lady. You can't really tell, but 
for all purposes, this is the lady of the game. Um, she's basically a rogue character. She does the insta-kill of the game. She has a move that pretty much destroys you instantly. There's a move, uh, I believe, um, Red Kid or whatever his name is. Should have an insta-kill, but is not. So, But this character has the only insta-kill in the game. However, you have to set up to get it done. And as you can see all the little arrows on the screen right now, those are the arrows that you need to follow. So the blue arrow is the biggest one. What you want to do is you have these banderillas, as, as they're called. And basically, if you've ever seen a bullfight, it's pretty gruesome. But if you've ever seen a bullfight, they stab these needles into the bulls to target them, mark them, or whatever. And they have to do three, I think. And it, you know, At least I think the standard is three. <clears throat> basically, that's what you're doing in this game. So you got two ways of doing it. You can throw them, like what I just did. And then there's an attack where you can jab both of them into the enemy. And once you get them in there, you can do the last move, which lets you stab them, and it automatically switches. So here in a minute, you're going to see me do the double move after I get my stamina up. And what you're going to notice is that the distance on that attack is going to be super short. It's not a very long attack. So as you can tell, you can actually just use these to kill the enemy. You don't need to worry about the insta-kill. But if you want to be fancy, which is what this character is all about, it's about finesse and fancy, then you will use the insta-kill. So here we go. I'm trying to show you a little bit of what the range is like on this. So if you see, I'm backing up, I'm showing you that you can throw them pretty far, but that's the range. That's the range of the double. So that gets both pins in them at one time, but as you notice, it's not very long range. But it doesn't use any stamina, so you can kind of spam it. Now, the minute you use that move, you switch back to your sword and cape which is really, really convenient, so you don't have to worry about doing that. Because what they want you to do right afterwards is Tiercio del Muerto, <laughs> which is, uh, like my Spanish accent, is um, basically your insta-kill. That's what I call it, insta-kill. Something, something death. <laughs> I don't know what Tiercio means. It's your insta-kill move. So what you gotta do is charge it, though. And there's a long charge. And then you stab him. Does a little, like... And then you can uh, do your fucking move and stab him right in the back. So here we go again. Boom. On a full health character, you charge it up. Now, that right there shows that you have to have it fully charged. So get used to the timing of the charge. Because you can't do it when it's half charged. You have to wait till it's fully charged. But it's an instant death. Now, there's a lot of things where... I, if it was me, I'd be like, well, how the fuck am I supposed to do all this shit? <laughs> How am I supposed to be able to stab this person and then be able to jump into him and stab him with my sword? Well, that's how. <laughs> you got your cool little move that blinds enemies. So basically it makes you go stealth. It's another way of saying stealth. Now that guy can't see you. The other character won't be able to see you for a while. And then you can pop up and stab him or do whatever. What's cool about that move is also you can use it to disappear and then hide behind something, right? And then you're disappeared for good. And then you can just pop out and get him with a double stab and then disappear again and then come back out with your fully charged uh, sword attack i believe the minute you start charging it though you uh, appear on their screen but i'm not 100 sure about that so you might want to check that out play with her not like that guys stop thinking like that <laughs> i can't even say i can't say play with her or mess around with her. <laughs> uh, use the character and Decide how you want to use your combos with her because she's very effective as a, as a killer. As you notice, you got regular sword attacks also that are really quick in the succession, but I believe they use stamina, so you can't just infinitely just keep attacking. You can only have, well, if you have four bars, you can only do four attacks. Your stamina, every time I talk about it, is the yellow bars in the bottom left, so in case you're wondering, when you skip to this section of the guide, that's your stamina. It's the bottom left corner, yellow bars. She's a very fancy character. Uh, someone you really, really want to take the time to learn to play as probably before you jump in and start a match because you're going to have to get up close and personal and you got to know how to do it. So, fun, fun rogue character. We got Billy the Kid. That's the first thing I thought of when I saw this guy. It was Billy the Kid. But his actual name is Kid Red. Because supposedly the victims he draws blood from is red. And not from his red hair. He's a pretty cool character though, overall. He has two weapons. He has his dual pistols. And he has his dynamite. 
because dynamite is pretty freaking cool if you know how to use it right. I believe that's one of the biggest things when you're playing this character is to know how to use that dynamite correctly. His guns are also very important. He has twin blasts. Twin blast is super important because it stuns enemies when you shoot them with twin blasts. It has a shorter range. And I'm gonna demonstrate that here in a minute. So right here you got your quick shots. Boom, boom. Um, you can shoot them faster. You click faster, so it's not that slow. It's really quick. 12 rounds. He has probably the most rounds I think out of any character. But they don't do as much damage. However, you can switch the guns to dual mode. As you can see right there, look at the icon, it switches back and forth. In this mode, the range is a little shorter. As you can tell, if you switch back, you can see that the range is long on that one, but then you switch back, it's shorter. So with this, you can do a stun. You know, it'll say stun when you do it. That's a good way of stunning, and then if you switch back to dual, you can get some extra damage off of it. Or you can do other things too. Right. You can do a quick little combo like that in itself, just with the guns. With more experimenting, more doing and practicing, you can come up with your own little combos against anybody. So here I'm just showing you how much damage you can really do against the big guy. He has probably the most health in the game, so as you can tell, all 12 rounds unloaded, and him doesn't kill him, but in most enemies it might, I think, kill most of them. If you can unload all of them, which is tough to do because they're going to be dodging around and stuff. So next up is his dynamite. His dynamite is very interesting because it's basically a grenade. In in all purposes, this is a grenade. As you notice, if you throw it, which is you'll see a lot of people when you go online, you'll see a lot of people do it like that. They will just chunk the grenade and then look at this. You have all day to dodge it. Do not do that. Do what you do in first person shooters. Cook that son of a bitch. Cook that grenade and then chunk it. Then you have a very, very useful weapon all of a sudden. You will catch people off guard with this all the time. You can kind of get it around barriers if you know someone's hiding behind something. Uh, mess around with it because really that's going to be your big damage. I believe it does quite a bit of damage. Now, the sneaky little move that he has is called Devil in the Pocket. And basically, what you can do is if you're near an enemy, you can chunk... Well, you don't chunk, you stick a dynamite in their pocket. This is the move I was thinking that should have been an insta-kill. I mean, come on, it's a dynamite in someone's pocket. But it is really easy to do, so that's why it's not an insta-kill. Because it's super easy to do. All you have to do is, like, roll by him and push R1, and you got a fucking dynamite in that guy's pocket. It's a super cool move, because it does stun him, and it gives you a chance to shoot the shit out of him afterwards. So, use a little combo if you think you can get in close and chunk a dynamite in their pocket like that. Uh, definitely do it, because look at that right there. If you can get that done... It might as well be an insta kill if you really think about it. The enemy's gonna be distraught. And you're gonna be like, yes, I'm a badass because I just stuck a dynamite in your pocket. Now, again, you have to get close because you gotta roll by them. You don't have to roll by them though. Roll by them is the way I do it, but you can walk by them and put it in there too. Just some way you gotta be near them. That is probably one of the best uses for his dynamite other than holding it. I can't believe that didn't kill him. <laughs> That's nuts. I, I was for sure he was in the thing. Uh, biggest thing in this game you'll see especially with him is make sure to reload if you're in battle you run away real quick reload while you run away do do reload as much as possible fast as you can when you can because you will catch yourself in the middle of a fight and you'll realize that oops i forgot to reload so <laughs> so definitely keep that up i think that's one of the bigger tips i'm going to give you is the, i think at the beginning when i started playing i'd always find myself not reloaded and i had to catch myself to say hey reload reload because this isn't to me it's not a first person shooter first person shooter is easy to remember to do that but in this game you kind of forget to do that so always check yourself and just notice also the biggest thing with him is how fast he is and how much he can how fast he can get from one place to another right there you just saw me roll all the way to the top and then come back that is kid red All right, guys, we have the deserter, the soldier of the game. He's really the big tank, the big beast. He can't move around very fast, but he's a powerhouse kind of character. Doesn't mean he takes forever to kill. Takes a little longer, but not that much longer. He's the guy I play as online. Uh, he's got what I think some really good damage abilities and little combos you can do with them that are pretty amazing, so I use them a lot. Uh, I'll show some of those combos probably at the end of this. Uh, with him, but right now we're looking at his arsenal, his cone, sh cone shot, impale, soldier's death, soldier's cold stare, 
adrenaline and health regain and then in the bottom left is a uh, is his soldier's shoulders if you can say that fast enough and he has a little passive ability when he dashes where he, if he hits someone while he's dashing he knocks them over so right now we're gonna go kind of showing how slow he actually is and then when you pump him with the adrenaline from his little box how much faster he is now you have to switch to the box because it is a weapon of his quote unquote but you can use the adrenaline on the run so if you just switch use the adrenaline switch back you got something that'll kind of get you away from something or get you into something really fast kind of startles the enemy a little bit not thinking that you're gonna be able to move that fast all of a sudden it's a really good move something i don't see a lot of the bigger guys use when i'm online when they're playing as the bigger guys something i use quite a bit just to get that quick in and out there. Now that's his regular shot with his rifle. Um, you know, good decent damage. Nothing like high high damage but it's not low by any standards. It's not red kids damage either. It's also a slow shooting weapon so it's not like you're gonna sit there and rapid fire that beast. It takes a little time. Here I'm showing the hiding mechanic with him and regaining stamina when you hide. I've been through this already but you know it's something to show again with him because when you hide with him you can use the dash when someone runs around the corner and knock them over and get some good good damage on the enemy. And it's also good to know that you can shoot the tombstones and break them. I think I do that here in a minute. I shoot one of these tombstones just to show that you can get rid of some of the cover if you just want to run around and shoot. Remember, ammo's infinite, so you might as well run around and shoot all the tombstones so no one can hide from you. Also, there's items in like the deathmatch mode. This one makes you move a little faster. Uh, I really just picked it up because I never seen it before. Because I don't, I don't do free for all. I think they're in the free for all one. It's weird because they call it free for all, which is like deathmatch, and then they call deathmatch is really like team deathmatch. Except you can do one v one. So in a way, it's like solo death. It's really weird. <laughs> they have the the, jar the uh, jargon all mixed up. So here I'm showing his uh, cold soldier stare, or soldier cold stare. It's uh, basically a sniper shot, but he can't move while he's doing it. So basically you're a tower when you do it. Now this is his jab. So what he does is basically right there I killed the guy with it. But if you do it on someone, when they're not low on health, you get a stab like that. And then you can shoot them right afterwards. So that's his little combo with that move. If you can get a good stab in on him then shoot right afterwards oh man that's so satisfying that's one of the most satisfying things but next the only thing other than that that's satisfying is in super smash brothers on wii u when you can use max and you do his uppercut after you get the pow <laughs> get his power up uh and then that's so satisfying too but this right here is really satisfying so there's the dash and then shoot combo i use that a lot with him basically you dash into the enemy knock him over shoot him You will be surprised how many enemies let you do that right there to them. If you have a full stamina bar, you can do that combo to them. You'll be surprised how many let you do that. It is crazy how many times I've killed someone. I can't believe I missed that sniper shot, but here's another one. And then you can dash, shoot, dash, shoot. You. I, I will say it again, you will be surprised how many people let you do that combo because I think if you don't time it right, they can dash out of it and you're just screwed. But for some reason they let you do it. So that's that. I don't it's just really funny how that happens. We got Phantom Poncho here. He is the first character I really try to play as and I like him in 1v1s more than I do like in team battles. So whenever I do 1v1s, I usually pick him over uh, the Deserter, which is the other guy I was saying I was playing as. He really has, um, I think, some of the cooler moves in the game. I like the whip. He has a shotgun and a whip, as you saw on the move menu. And using those two the right way is kind of tough because he has a lot of charge moves like that where you're kind of like, what do I do with that? And to me... If you ever played like League of Legends where you played as like Caitlyn and you did her trap move that shoots her backwards, that's kind of what that move is for. It's kind of like I'm going to shoot you and move backwards and kind of get out of there. And if you do it right, like look how far away I can get just by doing that move. That's kind of the way I take that move. It's kind of like, oh no, I didn't get the fuck out of here kind of move. So with that move, you 
kind of can get into uh, a really an evasive kind of action with them. Now, when you pull out the whip, this is when he becomes pretty interesting because he has this ability that he dashes around. And you'll see me do it later with the shotgun, which is way easier than the whip. The whip, you have to be almost pinpoint accurate. But <laughs> you see as I get really close to the guy to get it to work. <laughs> so basically, you knock him down like that and you can combo into it because it staggers them or stuns them or whatever the game calls it. And then you can go in there and shoot him with the shotgun. It's a really interesting uh, little combo you can do. And that's why I like him for 1v1 because when you do that combo, it kinda, you can kind of go in and out, in and out, in and out. Kind of just jab at him and then run away and then jab at him. And you, you're really fast with this guy. He's got good dashing abilities. So with that little combo, you can you know you do it right. You take your time doing it. You can do a pretty good job. Now, he has another one that is basically a grab. And what happens is, is you grab him and you can pull him towards you. And as you pull him towards you, you automatically switch to your gun. And then you just shoot him. And then you can keep shooting him after you start aiming. But literally, the first shot you can do is automatic. Like, you just gotta pull the trigger. And that's it. As you notice, the game decided to bug out on me this point <laughs> i don't know what that is <laughs> but it didn't like me <laughs> doing that move i think it happens here too or maybe not maybe it was just on the kid yeah it was just on the kid but you pull and shoot it's really interesting move uh something you got to get used to doing because it is a charge move he has a lot of those you get the gun was a charge move and the whip that right there is a charge move but Nailing those moves will get you some good damage in really quick and really easy. He's, pr like I said, he's probably either my second or maybe even my favorite character after I get used to playing as him. A lot of people play as him online, I think just because of his design. <laughs> he just looks like a badass, but uh, his whip is just so fun to play with. Does that sound dirty? <laughs> uh, he's, and then there's the dash and shoot. That move is so good. That dash and shoot, man, you are almost impossible to shoot when you do that. So that is Mr. Poncho. So that's the basic move guide to all the characters in the game. Again, I was doing these on dummies in practice mode. It's going to be a lot harder when you try to apply it in the game, but that's kind of the fun part of the game is figuring it out and how you're going to play your character. That's what I like about it. The biggest thing you can do is just go get the game. It's free right now on PSN. If you got a PS4, grab it while you can. Um, I will say though, right now they're having troubles with uh, the 1v1 and 2v2. They have deleted some of my characters. They're deleting characters, but they're on the works. They're getting a patch out. So that's my little disclaimer on the game, but they're working on it, guys. However, even with that, and usually things like that make me stop playing a game, even with that, I still want to play this game. I like still get on and play it. So it, the gameplay is there. It's fun. Uh, definitely check it out. Um, if you guys like this video, like the content, please like and subscribe. Thank you guys. And I will see y'all later. Peace out.